It's been 50 years since the plague ravished Europe. The scars are still visible, both on our people and our empire. Our cities lost two-thirds of their people, but they are now slowly coming back to life. The Black Death is gone, but the fear, the fear is still here. Yesterday, I received a worrying report from the far edges of our great empire. From a small village on the banks of the Danube River, Kiselova, nine deaths have occurred in the span of a single week. Each death week is sudden, preceded by a short and, uh, well, strange sickness. I am fearful that the plague might be back. Royal Investigators, I appoint you with the tremendous duty of protecting the people of the Habsburg Empire. Go to the town of Kiselova and research these deaths. Your orders are in front of you. We shall not disappoint you, Your Excellency. Well, my friend, it seems that our futures are now tied to that of this town, Kiselova. Let us make haste. We haven't much time. Ah, good. You're awake. I trust you slept well. Why don't you take this time to review our assignment by reading the orders given to us by the Duke of Württemberg? You will need this key. Good day. We would like you to take us over the river to the town of Kiselova. We are investigators from Vienna. Investigators or not, I value my life too much to go there. I suggest that you stay away. He seems very on edge, running off to his house like that. Did you know the young man mentioned in this article, Alexander Ivanov? Just thinking about those things sends shivers down my spine. Now you've upset me. It's enough that my business is ruined by these events. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. All right, look, if you want to take the ferry, then help yourself. You'll need a crank to start the ferry mechanism. You'll find it there at the fireplace.
There's someone on the other side of the river. I can't quite make out what he's doing. It's too far to see with the naked eye. The ferry is losing control. We have to steer it. banged your head when you fell down. We ran aground and our carriage got damaged. Master, if you will allow, I'll stay here and try to fix the wheel. <gasps> Who is that girl? Gay strangers, what brings you to the town of Kisilova? Oh, thank goodness you're here. My wife is the latest victim of these hideous attacks. She is very sick. My name is Philip Laban. I'm the mayor's deputy, and I'll, and I'll set up a meeting with the mayor right away. While you're waiting, you should go and talk to the medicine woman. Her house is on the forest path. You must have passed it on your way here. Good day, madam. We're here to investigate the recent events. The mayor's deputy, Philip, told us that you might have some helpful information. Yes, poor Philip. His wife, Olga, is very sick. I was just on my way to see her. Can you tell us anything about the attacks? I remember when I was a little girl. A stranger came, and soon after, similar attacks started. But the stranger was not a man, but something else. People called him a vampire, a creature that survives by feeding on the life essence of others. Vampire? I am sorry, madam, but I'm finding these stories very hard to believe. I have a book somewhere in the attic that you should take a look at. What was that? There's someone in the attic.
Someone broke in and stole the book you mentioned. We just found one page that must have fallen out. We should hurry and see Olga, Philip's wife. Follow me. Their house is near the town square. This is the house. Let's go in. You will see that Olga put up quite a fight. <laughs> She's delirious. If I give her some medicine, you may be able to talk to her. You'll have to go and get it. I have to stay here and keep an eye on her. Go to my house, make some vervain elixir, then bring it to me. You will find the recipe on my desk. The carriage driver is missing. It looks like he was attacked and taken by force. I gave her the medicine. There's nothing more I can do here. I'll leave so you can talk. Madam, my name is Frombald. I am an investigator from Vienna. Can you tell me what happened to you? I... I can't remember much. Someone attacked me from behind. While I was fighting him, I pulled this from his neck. I... I don't. The girl in the picture looks a lot like the girl we saw on the path leading into town, but the other half of the medallion is missing.
What's going on? Where am I? Oh, I see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, hi. My name is Stefan. I must have fallen asleep. Ah, uh, I need to go now. Welcome, officers. I am the mayor of this town, and this is Peter Blagojevich, one of our town's most eminent members. Thank you. Someone sabotaged our ferry, and our carriage driver is missing. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you discover anything of note? We were able to talk to Olga briefly. She doesn't remember much, but she did manage to take this medallion from her attacker. Do you know the girl in the picture? I think we saw her in the forest. Yes, that's Rose. She lives near the cemetery. A bit strange if you ask me. Perhaps she's involved somehow. That's nonsense. That beautiful girl could never be capable of such evil. <laughs> yes, of course you're right. You will find the body of one of the recent victims in the church crypt, if you would like to inspect it. The gate is probably locked, and the key is in the key cabinet in the lobby. Here's the key for the key cabinet.
Oh, hey, it's you again. I noticed you fixed the fountain. That's great. You must be pretty good with your hands. Do you want to play a game with me? good company these days. Here, take my knife as a sort of thanks. Maybe it will come in useful to you somehow. person again. And, oh no! Let's go quickly! After them! We're too late! He's gone! That house in the distance must belong to that girl Rose. Perhaps she saw something. figure was seen nearby. Have you seen anything? No. I'm sorry. We are here to investigate the murders. This was grabbed from the attacker by one of the victims. Does it belong to you? No, it's not mine. It belonged to my late fiancé, Alexander. The medallion was missing when they found his body. I wonder what happened to the other half. It contained Alexander's picture. Thank you. You've been very helpful.
This report seems to describe the attacks that the medicine woman mentioned she witnessed as a young girl. There's that cloaked person again. Let's follow him and find out who it is. Our mysterious nemesis locked the gate. We will have to find a way to unlock it. Oh, it's you. <laughs> you startled me. I wasn't expecting anyone. Are you here for a good traditional drink? Because if you are, you've come to the right place. Actually, we were wondering if perhaps you have the key to the main gate. I sure do. Come, play some cards with me. Cheer me up. And if you beat me, I'll give you the key. You'll find a deck of cards at the bar. That's the spirit. You have to have some fun from time to time to keep your sanity. All right, you beat me fair and square. You find the gate key in my shop. I'm too tired to go now. You go and take it. But you'll need the lock combination. It's one, six, three... Uh... Huh. Forgot the last number. Never mind. You'll figure it out. Well, that was unfortunate. It looks like we will have to find some other way to open this gate. The lock is old and corroded. Perhaps we could speed up the process somehow. Hello, dear. I see you're having some trouble with that lock. Hmm, let me see. Perhaps this could help.
The straw bridge can only be raised from the other side. We should find another way to get to the castle. It's too dark to get to the forest.
Good evening. May I ask whose body this is? It's Olga, Philip's wife. She's gone. Philip's gone too. Gone mad, that is. He asked me to bring the body to the crypt and left in a hurry. He's obsessed with finding the person who did this and getting revenge. You must try and stop him before he does something foolish and gets himself killed. We will do what we can. Perhaps it would be wise to start at his home. Ah, it's you again. How fortunate. We were looking for Philip. We didn't expect to find you here. I was looking for him too. I just wanted to give my condolences. If you happen to see him, do tell him I stopped by. I will leave you to your business now. There's something strange about that man. I can't help feeling that he wasn't telling the truth about the real reason he was here. Someone was obviously looking for something here. Was it Philip or someone else?
The mayor is dead. This is getting out of control. We must proceed with our investigation with utmost urgency. It's you again. We keep bumping into each other. We're trying to get to the forest, but it's too dark. I was wondering if you could help us with that. As a matter of fact, I can. I have a lantern here that I'll give you. If you manage to beat me at the shooting range, <laughs> always be prepared. Fair and square. Again. Here's the lantern. I'll help you with that. What happened here? Are you responsible for this? It wasn't me! I swear! I found her like this! It seems that she was attacked the same as the others. We need to hurry and find our way to the castle. You're coming with us until this matter is resolved.
Yes, it's our carriage driver. Rose, let her go!
just in time for supper. So it's true. You're the one responsible for all of this mayhem. Well, since you won't live long enough to share your knowledge, I might as well tell you. Yes, I'm the one you've been looking for. Petar Blagovic, in the name of King Charles IV and the Imperial Court of Vienna, by the power vested in me, I put you under arrest for the crimes you have committed. Stop, you beast! You'll pay for what you've done! You should have left well enough alone, detectives. You were warned. before the whole castle collapses. Thank you, Sir Frenbo. You and your partner saved this town as well as my life. I will be eternally grateful. I hope our paths will cross again, but in better circumstances. We must be on our way. We wish you farewell. 
The citizens of this town have nothing to fear anymore, including you, my friend. The vampire is dead. We killed him! Uh, did you? <laughs> <laughs>